Good evening, everyone. Uh, my name is Brian, and I'm here today to talk to you a little bit about the day in the life of a firefighter. I want to first start off by saying if you hear any voices or background no noise, I apologize. I am at work. So if you hear any radio traffic or anything, I do apologize in advance about that. Anyways, let's get right into it. When we think of firefighters, we often picture heroes in action, battling flames, saving lives. However, the truth behind a firefighter's daily life is a little bit more complex and challenging than the view that is often depicted by you guys, the public. Today, I want to take you guys on a little bit of a journey beyond the siren and the flashing lights and the, the glorious view that most people have about us. We're going to peel back the layers of the public perceptions surrounding firefighters and exploring the misconceptions and challenges that we may face on a day-to-day -day basis. In this exploration, we're going to dive into three key aspects that challenge the public's view of us, the diverse nature of the responsibilities we have, the physical and emotional strain that we endure, and the continuous training that is required by us in order to keep in compliance with the different standards and laws that the state of Florida requires of us. Firstly, us firefighters are first responders to many, many emergencies. Just beyond the fighting fires, we handle a lot of medical emergencies. That's probably about 80 to 90% of our call volume nowadays is going to chest pains and diabetic issues and difficulty breathing and people that are no longer breathing and need CPR, that is a lot of our call volume is going to those medical emergencies, backing up the ambulances. We also engage in a lot of physical rescues, such as cutting people out of cars when they're, they're entrapped in there when they get into a bad car wreck. Or also we do a lot of uh, public community events such as going to schools, giving fire safety talks, going and doing boot drives, collecting money for fellow fallen firefighters that have lost their lives in the line of duty. Davis 2018 emphasizes the diverse role of firefighters, revealing that only a fraction of their calls actually involve battling fires, as I just mentioned. 80 to 90% of our calls are related to EMS calls. We do not actually fight as many fires as you think we would on a yearly basis. The impact on us is not one of a great aspect. The fires are a lot more easier to handle than going to the different car wrecks and medical emergencies and such, especially when there is someone that loses their life and then we have to hold that which transitions me into my second point of uh, the physical and emotional strain that we have on a day-to-day -day basis it takes a toll on a firefighter and the, the, not just the body but also the mind and that's what the public often underestimates is the physical and emotional challenges that we have to endure The strains are just, a lot of people like to refer to it as PTSD, but I, w I wouldn't go as far as saying that because it's a buildup. It's little things that build up to the major breakdown for some people. Just having to see the things we see on a daily basis, it's not a pretty, pretty sight. Now, we don't get to see it every single day, but over time, it does build up. And these strange... The strange challenge the romanticized and perceived image that we are of invincible heroes that the public has of us, and it emphasizes a need for support and understanding from the public to under to help realize that it's not just all fun and games around the fire department. There's a lot of bad things that we see on a day to day basis. When it comes down to training, we do a lot of training. We don't just sit at the station all day and goof off and eat food like a lot of people think we do. We're not just static heroes. It's a dynamic profession, and we, we engage in a lot of continuous and widespread training in order to stay prepared for the different diverse emergencies that we must handle. The NFPA standards, which is going to be my example here, the NFPA standards, NFPA 2023, 
underscores the importance of ongoing training for firefighters, showcasing their commitment to being adaptable and skilled in diverse scenarios. We are required to have 280 hours now, I believe it is, of online training to in order to keep our state fire certifications as a licensed firefighter in the state of Florida. And that's not including the company training or as we refer to it, the in the field training, such as going out and raising a ladder up or going out and getting into our gear and putting out putting some plugging some water through the truck and practicing pumping the truck and doing different things. The impact on us is more of a physical strain at that point. And the public needs to understand that the constant need for training challenges that image for firefighters read which is reinforcing the dynamic nature of our profession which is why we can't always respond to emergencies on a fast enough basis because we might be out there training with all our gear on. We have hoses that have been pulled off the truck and it's on the ground. And then you, the public calls 911 and it's like expecting someone to be there right away. Well, we got to pick all that stuff up first before we're, we can even go out and, and help that person. Depending on how serious the call is, we could easily just drop all the hoses and go if it's if it's that big of a deal but if it's a fire we got to pick up all those hoses first in order to get there to get that water on the fire in conclusion wrapping this up let's recap the public's misconceptions focusing on the varied responsibilities that we have physical and emotional strains and the different ongoing training that we have to do as we conclude, let's challenge ourselves to see beyond that hero's image and recognize the true essence of a firefighter, a dedicated professional committed to the safety and well-being of our communities. We take a lot of pride in that, and it's one of our main focuses is to support and help the public whenever we can. May this insight into a firefighter's daily life inspire a deeper understanding of their commitment and a greater appreciation for the sacrifices that we make. And I... We'd like to thank you all for your time and hope that y'all have a good evening as well.